Coach, you, know, you heard it from Alabama fans or even players it's about Maybe say, say a little thank you uh, message on social media or something. Oh, yeah. Um, after the game, they were just thanking us on Twitter and things like that. Coach Bielema said in here that you guys aren't built to be sexy as a program. What Do you have a reaction to him saying um, that? Just, just, the style, down just the style of game that we play, um, just pounding the ball, you know, the play-action game. It's just not what a lot of people like to watch as opposed to the spread offenses and things like that where – we got a lot of guys out in space and you know, doing things like that. But I mean, it's just the style of football that we play. Is that like a motto? It sounds like he said that to you guys before. Yeah, it's kind of a motto, I guess. Just being uncommon. There's five tight ends that are here representing their schools. Is there something different about the position this year? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of you know, good tight ends in the SEC this year, good senior leadership, and just like you said earlier, just the game is changing with tight ends, being more involved and things like that. So I feel like that's good for us. Well, yeah, well, on, the, on the blocking aspect, I mean, it seems like the SEC every year is loaded with pass rushers. This year you got Miles Garrett, you got your teammates. How good is the pass rushing in general every week to week in the SEC? Oh yeah, it's great. I feel like you know every year, like every SEC game, there's always in defensive ends that you know you have to look out for and pay special attention to, and you know probably leave in an extra blocker, chip them on the way out, and things like that. And that's just how the SEC is. Jeremy Auburn's coach said the other day he viewed that loss to you guys like the turning point in their season because they they, basically, they didn't end very well. Whereas you guys were two and four entering that game and then you ended up winning five of your last six. Do you kind of view that as the the win that turned your guys' season around last year? Yeah, that one. I feel like that one in the Tennessee game mm -hmm. turned the points in our season. Just you know, getting over that hump and just winning a SEC road game, and then after that, just knowing you know, just believing that we can win. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like that was a good turn of going for us in the season. Jeremy, what was what do you remember about Jim Cheney and Sam Pittman working together again? Oh, uh, they were always you know pretty funny, cracking jokes with each other because you know they had history at Tennessee, and they just brought that chemistry over, and it was just pretty good to be a part of that system. Cheney is a guy that he's going to use the tight end group a lot. Is that what you remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Is there any particular like special emphasis when he was there on it, or what was it? Uh, I would say probably the, mostly the play action game and just the way he got us out in space and got us open and things like that. You remember the vibe around the team when uh, Coach Pittman decided to leave? I know he had been there. Oh yeah, it was. It kind of surprised a lot of guys because they just weren't expecting it, and then I heard. Um, most of the linemen like went to his house the night before and tried to get him not to leave. And I mean, the next day he was just gone. So it's kind of weird for a while. Yeah, Kirby Smart, I guess he tried to hire or at least talk to Dan Enos and he had that yeah. non compete clause. How good, how good do you feel that, that uh, you know, Coach Enos, and I don't know what he would have done, but Georgia coming off and oh. how, how good do you feel that Coach Enos is? still there and didn't, yeah. get, didn't get lured away. I feel like he would have stayed with us, you know, just because he built something here, you know, we had a pretty productive offense. And we got a lot of guys coming, a lot of playmakers coming back. So, I mean, I just feel like he would have stayed here. Alabama, you guys need Alabama, Ole Miss, LSU, Florida at home. Is there a better way you can imagine the home schedule for your conference going? Oh, no, no, it's going to be a pretty exciting home schedule for us. I mean, I expect the crowd to be have a good turnout for all the games, and it's going to be a fun season. How big of an advantage is it to get those bigger games? I mean, every time a team is big, but to get those teams at home. Um, just, just having that home field advantage, you know, not have to worry about the the road game crowd and just things like that. Just knowing the stadium and knowing just knowing everything, knowing the fans are cheering for you and things like that. It's just it's always an advantage for us. Jeremy, are you? Do you feel like? Uh, are you excited for Keon Hatcher to get to come back after after losing? Because it looked like he was on the way to a pretty good year last year. Oh yeah, you know he started the season off pretty well, and um, you know he, he obviously had that foot injury and knocked him out for the season. And um, yeah, I'm I'm happy that he gets to come back. You know, avenge himself and you know show people what he can do. What what makes him a special player in your mind? Um, just the way he works. You know, he's always out there competing, working hard, trying to get open and. I mean, he's, he's a great player for us.
Is it interesting for you guys to go into the season a little bit more under the radar than you were last year? And, and how do you feel like you guys have handled that? You know, I feel like um, the, the media always portrays us as going under the radar and things like that. And, you know, you just have to, just at the end of the year, just see where you are and just try to, I um, mean, you have, obviously have your expectations for the season and just try to go above and beyond those and see where you are at the end of the year. Well, Jeremy, have you been working on an off-season play to top the one Hunter Henry had? <laughs> I mean, I don't think a play can top that one. That where, was, where were you when that was happening? I was on he, Hunter caught the ball on the right side of the field, and I was from like about five yards from the left sideline. So, like I said, I just saw um, Alex running my way after he picked up the ball, and it was just go time from there, just trying to get the first down. How often? I mean, it's been months ago, but how yeah. often do you think? Do you think of that play like every day and how it happened? Oh yeah, it's a pretty crazy play. I probably watched it about about fifty times. I mean, it's just a once in a lifetime play.